This is hard. That's a. It's bigger than my fist. They say it's as big as your fist, but that's a. Yours is as big as your fist. Yeah, mine is. So that's. It's like an Andre the Giant heart. Pretty much, it's like a five and a half pound beef heart. So, um, free range, super. I mean, you look at it and you're like, God, that thing's a fatty mess, right? You see yeah. all this? Looks like brain. Ready? But. Just like if you look at steak, you want to look at, you know, they say the best quality steak has a lot of marbling, right? Kobe beef is that super marbled beef. It's got intersparse of lots of fat. Yeah. If you look at this, there's not a lick. So this is a, um, a grass-fed beef heart. And you'll find that animals that are grass-fed are going to have leaner fat content on the exterior. Yeah. When they're corn-fed, they're really hearty. We get a lot of older clients that come in because I serve a lot of innards. And we had a woman come in, she was like 89 years old. She ordered the beef heart. She said, I haven't had this since I was a little girl. Yeah. She, she just like, I mean, this was grilled, medium rare. She just devoured it. And she's like, young man, she's like, I don't know if you know this, but when I was a little girl, beef tasted like this. So think about what beef heart oh. tasted like when I was a little girl. So that, the beef, the actual normal beef that we're used to eating to her when she was a child tasted, tasted like, like this. Really? The intensity level of meat flavor. Because it was probably that natural and that, you know. Worked animals. Yeah. It was a used animal. This is a used muscle, never stops beating. Your yeah. heart stops, you hit the ground, and we call the ambulance. Call it cut. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's really fun to see, like, especially when that woman, she told me that, and it was like this revelation. Like, I just yeah. learned so much from just a woman's very simple conversation. But something like this, we're going to add a lot of flavor components. So we're going to add, our fat will be olive oil. Okay. Good fat. Good fat. Uh, smoked salt. We're going to add a little bit of mint, some toasted garlic. Okay. Love garlic. And then a little bit of red onion. Everybody loves a little chili. Huh? Okay. A um, little chive and a little bit of black pepper. And then on the top, you have this area here, which you have all your valves. Yeah. So all this becomes, you know, tallow bucket, render it out for its fat to use for um, cooking fat. Okay. So well, see, you, you were saying with these animals that you really do use, use it head to toe. Yeah. That's the goal. You want to use... I mean, for me, my thought process has always been, if you're willing to kill it, shut up and eat all of it. Yeah. If not, then, you know, you're kind of, I kind of feel like people become a hypocrite about their, their food consumption. Well, it's like, it's like the Eskimos would use it top to bottom. Exactly. You know? So this, you can see it's getting to be all just pure, clean trim that's just, muscle. That's just a clean steak right there. Exactly. If you wanted to, you could take this right now, season it with salt and pepper. You know, maybe we do that. Why don't I grill this one while do we're making the tart? Ways. Do it two different ways. Just so you can try it. All right. Okay. Let's do that. You know what? Just put a little salt and pepper on it. Put a little salt on it, both sides. Just do a little bit. Don't go crazy. And I'm going to con continue to trim just so you can get a difference in taste. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because raw and cooked, it'll give you a whole new world. Just drop it right on and there you go. Just let it sit. Yeah. Wow. So do you have a saying? Me? No. Well, now. We'll shut up and cook. Shut up and cook is it. There you go. I'll shut up and eat. <laughs> there you go. So it seems like you're looking at it and you think there's actually a lot of waste, but ultimately I'm going to be able to use, this is the only disposable component right through here. Through the fat. I'm going to have you feed this through the hole. Let's do it. Perfect. I'm going to get you in trouble. You're going to have to start cooking at home now. I know. <laughs> My girlfriend's not allowed to see this. Okay. And now the key component here is because it's raw beef, we have to have it on ice. Yeah. Tartar. You don't, I mean, it's never really room temp. So I'm letting your, your steak rest. All right. So the key about resting is you're going to cook it. All the blood when you're cooking something wants to rush out. But when you let it rest. And let it sit for a while. Let it sit for about five minutes, you know, next to a warm area. And then the blood goes back into the center. And it'll turn that rice nice rosy pink again. Yeah. You know when you see people cut meat and it just, the plate Everywhere. fills with blood? That means they didn't let their meat rest. It ruins it. it exactly. So, tartar. For me personally, it needs a fat. It needs something strong, like an onion. We have a little freshness here, and it's gonna have a little chili. We're also gonna do some grilled bread, so okay. for you to eat it with. So, the key is getting the onion really, really fine. So you guys can draw really perfect straight lines, and I really. can cut really, 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 really small stuff. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. So, the trick with chilies, the white part and the seeds are the spiciest part. So to tame it, yeah. you just take it all out. So have you ever uh, had any serious uh, kitchen accidents, burnings, cuttings? Oh yeah, we, I get them all. I've all right. had every single one. Um, burns, cuts, uh, stuck an oyster knife through my hand. Oh yeah. Came all the way through. 
Whoops. Um, I had a third degree burn where this entire section of my hand came off and you could see the muscle tissue below. Um, it, you know, it wow. happens. It's, how was how was the burn? How'd that happen? Uh, I was working in Washington, D.C. with uh, Chef Mark Miller, and he had a wood fire oven in the, the hot box where you would stack the wood in. You kind of do it like a Lincoln log. Well, the wood collapsed, and it was a seesaw effect. So the back piece of wood collapsed as I was putting in the wood, and it pinned my hand up in the oh. inside of the oven. And it was the beginning of shift. So uh, we tried to bandage me up, and, and I, I couldn't make it through. I mean, I was bleeding through bandages. and. My, uh, at the time, my girlfriend, which is now my wife, came and picked me up. She's like, oh my God, you are a <laughs> mess. So a couple uh, doctor's appointments and cortisone creams and yeah. crazy, crazy times. Skin grafts. You know, we're lucky. They, they were like, you know, you're gonna have a really bad scar. Maybe we should, I'm like, I don't need So is that the only scar you have? Is that line, is that? That right there. Oh, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. It, it turned out okay. I got, I got stabbed by a pencil right there. Ooh. So it's not as cool as yours. Is but it that, lead? Is it that lead? is lead. Okay, so the play here, that's raw. This is not, this is what's gonna make, trick your head. You're gonna think because of using this that this is gonna be a cooked item. So it's smoked salt. It gives you that smell of a charred meat. So it's a sea salt that it's from whales, but they use um, old wine barrels to actually yeah. smoke with. So we're gonna add some of that. You always wanna add your salt first. Cause if you coat it with oil, the salt doesn't actually touch the meat, it's a coating yeah. element, right? I'm gonna give you some heart to taste. Awesome. Now if it's too salty, it's your fault. Yeah. Okay, so don't go pointing the fingers at me on that one. <laughs> you notice the texture is very different. It's gonna be crunchy. Tastes like a steak. Yeah. Like a really good steak. What's funny is you could tell, you could give this to someone and just like, oh, I cooked up some steak and tell them later that you just ate cow heart. Well, I've done that and it, you know, in a restaurant that can backfire on you, you can really piss somebody off. I had a friend that came in when I first got here and I put beef heart on the menu and she was like, you're disgusting. That's so wrong that you're doing that. And I was like, why? It's, it's just like a steak. She's like, no, it's not, it's disgusting. So lo and behold, what does she order for dinner? A steak. Oh, really? So I switch it out. And this is my friend's wife, and my friend kind of figured out what was going on. So I bring it over, and I, the, the server goes over with the steak, puts the, the heart, looks like a beautiful piece of steak. She's like, this is the best steak I ever had. And I come up behind her with the steak she ordered. And I said, here's your steak. She's like, what do you mean this is steak? I said, actually, no, that's the beef heart. She went crazy. Uh -huh. And this is my friend's wife. She's like, you son of a bitch. You're lucky I know you, because I would sue you. And her husband's like, you just said it was the best steak you ever had. So what is it? Now, we've seasoned with the smoked salt, but what I want to do is add a, a little bit of vinegar. You need acid for tartare, it adds a really nice uh, acidity, which brings out all the flavors. So, okay. I'm gonna put in a tiny bit. This is a uh, Zinfandel vinegar. And notice it's on a cold, I'm still- Still got the ice. Still got the ice. So let's see what we got here. Okay, so we're gonna add a little bit of the mint. And let's see, I'm gonna want a little black pepper. This oil I'm using is called Coratina. It's a single varietal olive oil that grows in, the cr in between the cracks of mountainsides. So it's really tiny, like the, the, your thumbnail size uh, olive, but the, the oil has a rich grassiness, and so it's bitter and pungent, and it really works well with raw this preps. Thing? Yeah, of course. This is like the ultimate dream lunch you get. You got a built-in sandwich right here. There's some lunch. What, no candle? Sorry. I'm eating cow heart, but it's like a light lunch. Yeah. That's bizarre. Isn't that cool? It, it's not what you expected it to be at all, is it? No, not at all. No kidding. Just think it like simple salad, glass of wine, a beer, and that. It's like perfect day, sit outside. There you oh, go. Yeah. The only heart you can't do is pork and chicken. Why is that? Well, you can't eat pork raw, it's not good for you. Chicken, it's true. chicken, I really don't feel like sitting on the toilet for a month. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't think chicken, chicken salmonella. doesn't sound like good. I had salmonella tartare, woo! Mm. Look at that, two totally different meals, unreal. Cause that, that is like more like a dinner and that's kind of a sunny lunch afternoon kind of meal. Thanks for coming. Yeah. It's a pleasure, That's man. That's awesome. Thank Definitely not the man I expected from the, from the artwork.